we're looking at an interesting map if you actually like this sort of thing. It's um, lightningmaps.org and it will show you um, live lightning strikes all over the world. And it looks like we've got an active storm just to the north of my location. And it is possibly coming down this way towards me. Um, and it has got dark, so... Yep, might be in for a storm. It's amazing what you can tell from this. Anywho. Uh, We've got the batteries charged for this thing, so... Mm. That was good. That's a good battery. I'm going to have to use this one, just so I'm going to let that one cool before I put that in. They're both charged up. back on here. See the difference from before? I've got all that space. I'm not sure what I'm going to fill that space up with. I could put a park in there, actually. That would fill that space up, wouldn't it? And I've been playing around with my um, arch over the road. It's a bit of a square arch, but yeah. No, I can't hear rumbles of thunder from up here and things. Where's the bloody lid gone for the pot of hers? <coughs> for the pops lid. I've gone and done something daft as well, so I'm pissing for the Olympics at the minute. Got carried away and ate too many of these, so now my sugars are a little bit too high. How do I know without doing a glucose test? Because like I said, I'm pissing for the Olympics every sort of 15 minutes at the moment I'm going for a piss. Good indication that my sugars are too high. Oops. I got carried away eating them and then I looked at the packet and I thought oh dear, I've gone too far. Hell of a lot. I've got to say something else. I can't remember what it was now. Oh well. Put some of these trays back so I can knock them over. Tell you what, I don't have a use for these bulbs, but I turned the lounge light off last night and put this in that light fitting. These um craft lights actually give off quite a nice light. I'm not going to put that one in because I'll never get the fucking thing back out again. It's the actual light fitting. That was a bit tricky to get those spotlights in there. Those um R60s or the R50. No, they are R60s. I'm sure they are. I think. I don't know. But I can, I can actually get my hand around the ones that are in there at the moment to unscrew them, whereas I can't that one. Why, well, that was awkward. An awkward lamp holder with an awkward bulb in it. It was not a very good combination. <laughs> so, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting that bit cut tomorrow. I still haven't measured it up yet. Oh, mind you, I can do that in the morning if I have to. Oh, I better take that with me. I don't know if I'll go down the tip. I've got a lot of cash left. It's starting to rain. Not yet. We did have a shower earlier today. That is one of the Oh yes, that's what I actually forgot to show you. I've got it in this bag. When I bought that lamp yesterday, I actually bought, because they were 50p, two 6-volt adapters, power adapters. Why two? Because they've got two different size connectors on them. That's why I bought two. <laughs> the others were just small phone chargers that were in there. But uh, I actually like to keep hold of proper power adapters like this. Yeah, that one's got quite a large plug on it and the other one. Despite being 6 volt, it's actually smaller. And got a smaller plug on it. 
may run one of my cameras a lot better. And uh, when I can find them, there's a couple of screwdrivers I took down, but I've got a bunch here I'm going to take over tomorrow. I've got five. I purchased to put over in my toolbox over at Mum's. I haven't actually got a lot over there, to be honest. Well, they're usually all over the place, so I've got some three various size flatheads, because that's all they had, and a W Phillips. 50p each as well, so. No, that is right. I thought I had an even number of screwdrivers there for a second, but. I have. Oh, oh, there's the other one. That was one of them as well. Oh, now it's right. Yay! <laughs> Put some tops up right there. I just got bored and just felt like, um... Modding them. I was just going to get some tan brick and put in there, but I thought, I don't know. I did that with the one by one round bricks. That adds a bit of a uh, texture to the building, doesn't it? So uh, that's why I added that in. I will do the same the other side, but I rather need two more tan one by one bricks and two of these in tan. Hopefully, if they do them, a couple of these in tan and at least another four in grey, maybe, maybe another six in grey, I don't know, still ticking away nice and brightly, that's good, I took the batteries out of these and gave them a charge up on my charger, in fact I've still got two in this, so the lights go off when this is charged, and it does disconnect power from them because they are nice and cool. They've been plugged in all night and all day. They've actually been charged for a while. I just haven't bothered unplugging them. But these are actually cool, so that proves when the light goes off, it disconnects power to them. I can't even rem remember what I got these ones out of. Something I salvaged them from. What are they? I've actually upgraded the battery in... Uh, that as well, it's got a 550 milliamp hour battery. Because a lot of them use um, 400s. Which is probably done for a reason, but it's probably going to take a bit more to charge this battery up, but we'll see. I just haven't put the screws back in yet because I left my favourite screwdriver in here. This is my favourite screwdriver for doing jobs like this. Love it. That was uh, BigClive.com. I think I've said before it's BigClive.com. He uses these. He's got a couple of them. He inspired me to get one as I'm always taking fiddly things like this apart. Not necessarily fixing them, but I am always taking them apart. That's made life a lot easier. I can't get into really deep holes. I know the really deep recessed one, but I've got a bunch of screwdrivers up there for that anyway. Right, I need to decide what I want for dinner. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I need pop to littles, get at least a bottle of cola, because I think I've got one in the fridge. I'm just going to double check that. Is it in the fridge? Yes, so I'll just go and get one now. So my stepdad's got several grills over there. He's got the Makita I gave him, but that's got a similar problem to this Bosch. Batteries don't hold charge. <laughs> and when you use it, they don't hold charge for very long. I'm not actually sure that Bosch. I've never used it. But I know if you just leave it sitting, you can't see fuck all. That's better. That might help. And then now you can see what I'm talking about. Dipstick. Right. Yeah, his um, Makita does what this does. You leave it sitting batteries go dead within a few days, but I've had these ones sitting here for a couple of weeks and they've held charge. I've got a spare battery for this one, because I had two of these. I got all of these from the same friend. Each and every last one. 
the Makita, the Bosch, the new tool, whatever this little yellow one is, an Einhell, Einhell, Einhell. Um, they came as a pair, no charger, but I've got a charger here that the batteries sort of dodgily fit into and charge. <laughs> uh, but the other one died, so uh, I got taken apart, I think. Um, so I just kept the battery from the other one as a spare for this one. New tool, it's not very powerful, but it does hold charge. It's a bit of a weak, cheapy thing. Anyway, I'm going to disappear because uh, I'm going to wait for this rain to go away. Again. Welcome to England. We float. <laughs> Oh, I can see two layers of cloud up there. You might have a storm brewing. Right. Anyway. Right. Well, I decided I'd play with a couple of uh, my drills. So, I've got this Direct Power brand drill and battery on charge. I've got another one. I'm just going to go and get it. <laughs> oh, shut this door as well. Now, can't I? Uh, those two little ones in there are still charged. Yep. Bosch isn't. That loses charge when you leave it. Rather quickly, sadly. I may, I may see if I can find some replacement batteries or rebuild them or something. But I actually have to say, that's been good old faithful. That's actually good at drilling holes in walls and... I've had that about six years, that one. Mind you, as I live in this flat and it hasn't been used that much. But uh, I do use it, or have used it, when I've been over to Mum's. Done this table. The extra supports are in, so uh, now, when I wobble it, it's all rigid. Good and rigid. I put the extra screws in. Straightened everything up, squared everything up, so tomorrow go to mum's, cut the piece I need to go in here, bring it home, screw it down, Monday. Can't do it tomorrow, that'll be too late by the time I get home. I'm also going to cut, measure and cut a section out of this um, to go over that. And I was thinking of putting another shelf down as well, but... I wouldn't have nowhere to put this cabinet, would I? Uh, <laughs> so... I was actually thinking of turning the bed round as well so it went level with the window. No. I don't know. That wouldn't be a job for today because uh, I can't be asked. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the other thing I did, I put some batteries in, in these ones. <laughs> Good old Dorman. The uh, first transistorized um, warning lamp we had in this country, back way back in the 1970s. Even though paraffin lamps paraffin warning lamps were used right up to the 80s. So I don't know if it's because things like this were rather expensive back then. So they just stuck with the paraffin ones, but... Yeah, I do like the um, lenses on this one as well. That one's got quite a rapid flash on it, though, for some reason. And the other one's got slow flash. It's got a battery in it as well. Yeah, based on RE Dietz... Well... Um, licensed from RE Dietz, these ones. I don't know what RE Dietz lamp these are based on. It just says they're licensed from RE Dietz USA. I wouldn't mind a Dietz lamp. I've got Empco and whatnot up there, but not a Dietz one. Ah. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. 
I've still got things to do in the lounge such as pull those drawers back out of the way and vacuum, I'll vacuum first so I can get the vacuum cleaner out of the way I think anyway I shall uh, speak to you all in a little while hi guys hi all, hi everyone I can smell the bakers Oh, it's probably one of the biggest perks of living here. Anyway, my digital clock is still sitting there ticking away on two brand new JCB batteries. I've got the blue ones in there, not the red ones like as in that box behind it. The blue ones are um, apparently designed for um, heavier use. I did buy them for a reason, but I can't remember what I bought them for. But as I weren't actually using them for the intended purpose, I thought I'd just stick them in here and run my clock. See how long this will uh, run for on a couple of brand spanking new batteries. So, we'll see. Nearly 24 hours so far, but I'm not going to do an update every day. Right. The only other thing I've been doing is... Uh, I've had a tidy up in here. I fixed the front light on Grandpa. That was just an issue with a loose dralia. The dralia kept dropping down off the wheel and wasn't being spun correctly. So it wasn't generating the correct power. So I have to fix that. Uh, he's out on the landing now and look at that sky. I'd say that was going to piss it now. Again, no surprise there. An Audi? It looks very much like an Audi parked out there. And she's the cleaner. The cleaning lid there for the council office. Fuck knows what accent that was supposed to be. I haven't got a clue. I just slip into random accents every now and again. Right, well, apart from cleaning up in here and fixing Grandpa again, I haven't done anything, not really. Been to Sainsbury's and Lidl's to get dinner and some coke. Not seen Mum for two days now because of uh, her work schedule. She's actually employed as a cleaner, but because she's passed all the checks and done caring in the past, I've now got this habit of calling her on to uh, cover if they get short staffed. <laughs> So, um, she can only do so many hours a week, though, because of her benefits. It'll affect her benefits if she do over the hours. <clears throat> because it's legit, um, she can't take that risk. It'd be all right if I was cash in hand. <laughs> if it was cash in hand, it wouldn't matter, but... When you're working for a legitimate business that does legitimate books, you can't take that risk. Right. Let's this lock off the bed. Got my LED maxi light up there. And I, I took the Nissan mono lamp off the end there, slid everything along so I could get the, my new maxi light which is this one my finger's pointing right at and my Dorman 360 up in the shelf and this mono lamp is over there along with my other paraffin lamp I wouldn't actually mind getting at some point in the future no rush some more different paraffin lamps just to put on this shelf so I can make that as primarily a paraffin lamp shelf and this red one here on the um, on the left, as we look at it, is a full of paraffin. That'd be fun. <clears throat> I'll have to clean up down there because uh, I was sick this morning. I'm actually getting quite worried because it's like two mornings in a row he's done it. Well, at least he's done it over here at the way, not right where I've got to walk. Uh, he does it once. Keep an eye on him.
The scrap that I had up here has gone down on the trailer as well. The old bike tar, the old my old set of forks, the old bike wheel from my uh, orange shopper. That's all gone down on the trailer. <coughs> so a little bit of room up here. Got a bag of bike parts here to sort through at some point. Duh. Pardon me. I'm going to taste like spaghetti bolognese, that's what I had for dinner. Bah. Microwave spaghetti bolognese, those. This I'm going to take to Mum's when I next go. It's just a ceiling row, standard 5 amp stealing row. Stealing? Ceiling rows, rather, not a stealing rows. Uh, it's just going to look tidier than. If you look at my. Um, I think it was. Not the first workshop tour I did. But one of them I did where I point I think it's the one I where I was pointing out what I'd done electric wise. And I'd used like um a switch back box with a blank plate on it just to cover up the connection. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in its place and connect the wires into this. Like I did with one of the other fluorescent lights. Because the um, lighting points in that workshop weren't where I needed them. Because <laughs> obviously it was um a mobile home at one point. <clears throat> and we've just completely gutted it and turned it into one big workshop. Uh, tell it's cooler. We've got a t-shirt on. And is it showing up in the reflection? Here it is. I'm not walking around topless. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Mum's supposed to ring me tonight, but that is if A, she doesn't fall asleep, and B, if she remembers. <laughs> Absolutely a jet shit's been going on on the wonderful world that is Facebook. Although, in the wonderful world of YouTube, I do watch, um, I think most who watch me have probably heard of this guy, Boogie2988. He was hacked. Someone had managed to contact Verizon and get his phone number, and then managed to hack into all his accounts. His Facebook, his YouTube, his PayPal, everything. What the fuck Verizon was doing actually handing out a phone number like that, I don't know. That was just ridiculous. He's sorted it all now. That was just absolutely ridiculous that someone on Verizon's customer service just handed out Boogie's number just like that. Except, you know, any Tom, Dick, or Harry that phoned up. That's ridiculous. And a breach of security. That is a breach. Security breach, you know. I need to retrain their staff, I think, if that's what Ver Verizon do. We don't have Verizon over here in England. <coughs> well... That's actually not a bad thing, to be honest, if that's what Verizon do. <coughs> you know your phone up, pretending to be someone you're not, and they hand you your bloody phone number. You don't give out the... Oh, it's a bag in the bin, I like cracking that. You don't give out bloody numbers like that. You don't give out any information unless the person you're talking to can prove they are who they say they are. Hence why when you phone up customer service I'll usually ask you questions only the account holder should know. 
such as your date of birth, sometimes your home address, the number you are, if it's like you're phoning up because there's a problem with your phone or your internet, and I'll ask you for the phone number just to confirm you are who you say you are. <clears throat> If it's the DWP, they'll ask you for your um, national insurance number. But that was too, I couldn't believe it when I heard that. I did see something where it said... Um, it was in this recommended bit on YouTube where it said... Uh, big YouTubers suddenly kicked off YouTube and Boogie was in the... Um, in the thumbnail. I actually got told on YouTube I should lose some weight. True. But uh, there's people a lot bigger than me out there. Ah, you bastard! I wasn't ready for that. He stuck his claws in. And then he uses his claws to jump off as well. Now he's pissed off to the bedroom. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, lucky, because normally I'd call him a fucking bastard for that. <sighs> <sighs> VidCon! I'll never be a big enough tuber for something like that. Well, if I actually had the cash and a passport, I could still go if I want to, but... Thank you, you bag sheet. Same notifications, anything useful? You just love it when groups mimic your own group name. Like my cousin, or one of my cousins, has just got married. Kept that bloody quiet. Didn't get an invite, but I probably wouldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> I'm not the sort of person for such things, or parties, or anything like that. It's a shame people, more people didn't realise this one. I've actually seen other different photographs of this, but it says the same thing. When you buy from a small business, you're not helping a CEO buy a third holiday home, 
you're helping a little girl get dance lessons, a little boy his team jersey, mums and dads put food on the table, a shop local. I do try, and I don't mind paying that little bit extra as well, because obviously a little business will have more overheads, so they've got to charge more. <coughs> Whereas somewhere like a big supermarket or a big department store don't have that many overheads, so they can actually lower the price a little. So I do like that. If you can shop local, shop local. Because it's absolutely correct. I've got nothing against someone buying a third holiday home if they've got the money to do that. If they set up a business and earned it, then good for them. Go out and spend it. I'd rather see them spend it than um, sit on it in a bank and not spend it. I can actually think of the people that I actually know that do that. <laughs> My mum's landlord is one of them. Oh, he does not like spending money. <laughs> Apparently he is actually a millionaire, but I'm not sure if that's true. I know he's a retired pig farmer, um, and I know he's not short of a bob or two, which if you don't know what that means, it's British slang for a few pounds. He's not short of a bit of cash, but whether he's a millionaire or not, I don't know. But... Uh, he really doesn't. If he couldn't get away without spending money, like fix something himself, he will. I don't blame him, you know. Why spend money if you don't have to? You know, if, you, if, you, if you know you can fix it yourself, fix it yourself. It's like the um, roof leak on the extension at Mum's house where the bathroom and toilet is and whatnot. Um, to get it fixed it's going to cost him if you pay someone to do it around about five grand but the thing is it's a flat roof I'm sure if me my stepdad perhaps a landlord and Biggles got together we could rip that roof off buy the plasterboard redo the plasterboard redo any woodwork that may have rotted up there as well um, the only bit we may need to get someone in to do would be to seal the um, the um, roofing felt because that's got to be sealed maybe if the gutter was cleaned out up there it might also help but <laughs> yeah it's actually in heavy rain that leaks like a and of course the main fuse box for the house is in that extension so um, that ain't good if water gets on that that would mean probably one or the whole lot will trip out that ain't good and that is not something I'd want to stand there and fix either if I can help it so that's the problem. The longer the landlord leave a leak like that, the more damage it's going to do. Because it's not just going to run in and leak into the property itself. It's going to rot out the wooden beams. It's going to rot out lots of things. Get into the electrics in the ceiling, because, you know, each room's got a light in it. The bathroom light. The toilet light. I don't actually know why they didn't just put those in one big room, but that's what I'd have done. I wouldn't have put them in two separate rooms like that, I'd have just made one big room. <coughs> Never mind, I didn't design it. Yeah, the actual graft work, we could do ourselves. Stepdad's got all the saws in the workshop if we had to cut any bits of timber. <clears throat> he 
he knows how to cut plasterboard because he did that in one of his a um, few years ago actually no more than a few years ago no, about four or five years ago he bought a um, big old shed where they were living bought this big shed put it in the garden put his railway in there he plasterboarded all the walls and ceiling out himself he cut it and one night so redoing the ceiling and whatnot in there isn't a problem Like I said, I don't know how to use a blowtorch or anything to uh, seal up where the roofing felt goes, so that would be a job for someone who knows what they're doing. But the rest of it we could do easily, we could lay the roofing felt easy. <laughs> I actually like that. Getting into a into a relationship with me means I will put up with your shit. I will tell you when I'm fucking pissed off at you, but that doesn't mean I will break up with you. I will tell you you are an asshole but I still love you, and then prob not talk to you for a few hours. Yeah, that sounds like a woman. I get into a relationship knowing there's good and bad days, and I'm willing to get through it with you on all days. I actually like that. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect. But I think I would be a very hard person to live with. Just because I have Asperger's. I would have to find someone who understands the condition, who therefore can understand and help me. <clears throat> or someone willing to learn about it. I mean, mine's not that bad. It could be a hell of a lot worse. <clears throat> you know, there's... I'm not sure about adults, but I know there's kids out there that, with Asperger's syndrome, or autism, you just throw it all under the one thing, we'll call it autism, who um, won't even talk. They're non-verbal. They don't say a thing. I actually feel lucky in a sense, because mine could be a lot worse. Mine just seems to affect me more socially. You probably wouldn't believe that, because I can talk to a camera so comfortably. But uh, in person, not so much. And some people may think I'm a bit weird when they talk to me in person, because sometimes I may not even answer. And that's not because I'm being a dick. That's because my brain sometimes has to take time to put together an answer, and by the time it has, it's usually too late to give an answer. It's just, the gears up here sometimes run a little slowly. <laughs> uh, I'm actually glad I can poke fun at my own, um, well, technically, disability. It is as classed as a mental disability, but... Apart from the social bit, I don't think it really affects me that much. I mean, I could talk to people in a social situation, but it's usually they have to speak first. Um, I'm usually not one for asking any questions. That's what I find difficult as well. Returning the questions. So, like, if someone asked about my hobbies or something or whatever and I would struggle to spin out the same question to them small talk as they call it
Um, yeah, aside from that, I also find it difficult to uh, make phone calls, especially to places I don't know or people I don't know. I don't know why, really, but that's just how it is with me. Oh well, I have got an appointment with a company called Remploy in Norwich Sea. I know exactly where it is, I don't need a map. Because <laughs> um, there's another company that used to be in the same building that I went to before, so I know exactly where it is. Um, but they specialise in helping people with disabilities, so... In getting into work, I mean, I should have said that. See, that's the other thing I struggle with. I struggle with getting my words out, especially in some sort of coherent order. <laughs> and the other thing I have a habit of doing, especially on Facebook, is, um... saying things that usually get me into trouble. <laughs> because I'll often type without thinking, and then think, oh shit, that didn't sound right, and then people pick up on it and get the wrong end of the stick, and all sorts of crap happens. And I start feeling depressed and down because I've pissed people off and I didn't mean to, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not a very good teacher either, because I find it hard to explain things. And people want me to show them how to do something on a computer, and I just suck at showing people how to do things, or trying to teach them how to do things. <clears throat> oh well. What can I do? It's a condition I'm stuck with for life. It's a condition I've got to live with. It's about all I can do is live with it, and poke fun at it, and poke fun at myself. I do have a bit of a twisted sense of humour as well. <laughs> That's probably why I can have a laugh so much with, like, my true close friends and especially my mother, because they get my humour. They understand my humour and they understand I am just joking, but a lot of people that don't know me may, um, well, they have, like, on Facebook. But I suppose with Facebook as well, you can't really hard to um, understand what someone's meaning because it's hard to put feeling into what you're typing so it is down to the interpretation of people as well and how they interpret what you say so I like using all those little smiley faces and whatnot. <coughs> I am quite a sarky bastard as well and pedantic. I think that's one of my most annoying features. I am very pedantic. And literal. I can be quite literal. Although I have been literal just for the funny side of it. Like if mum says, can you go and get a tin of beans and put them in a saucepan? She's asked me to do that in the past when I, was, when I used to live with her. You know, used to live at home. <laughs> or even when I go over there and... Uh, She's cooking dinner, because always, I've always helped her in the kitchen. And uh, <laughs> I have actually literally got the tin of baked beans sealed and put it in a saucepan. <laughs> Not because I took it literally what she said, it's just because I found it amusing. <laughs> but yeah, there is some times I can be a bit lit or take things quite literally. Um... But I like to think I don't do that too often. Unless I am just doing it for the laughs, like the tin of beans and the sauce. Well, I've done it with sausages as well. It just depends what mood I'm in. Oh. Uh. Mm. Ah. Now I know where you live. Hmm. Ooh, 
Retro Restores put a video up. And RJ the Bike Guy has asked, what is your absolute favourite bike tool? Which one? <laughs> oh, actually, I don't know. I really don't know what my favourite bike specific tool would be. No, I don't know. There's so many out there. Oh, good one. Which one do you choose? Free gas for two years, free groceries for five years, your dog lives as long as you do. Having grown up with dogs and knowing how well you can become attached to them and how well they can get under your skin, like little Min did, I'd go for your dog lives as long as you do. Well, the free gas isn't no good to me anyway, because I don't have anything with an engine. <laughs> Groceries would be useful. Half an hour. Okay, I'm going to call it quits. Because this camera clicks over at 33 minutes anyway, doesn't it? Or stops and restarts. Just something I forgot about. So, sorry, a bit of just a rambly vlog, but aside from cleaning, I didn't really want to film cleaning. Who wants to see that? Oh, look, there's some random fat man cleaning up a flat. <laughs> right. Besides, if Mum hasn't forgotten, she'll phone me soon anyway. Could message my brother. I don't know if my brother would get it. I don't even see him on. Oh well. Oh well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you made it this far, I don't blame you if you didn't. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Not a clue.